Okay, guys, we got a little special um, stash inventory today in the post. We got these handrails made by Trumpeter. I'm terrible at making hand tools or handrails, hand handles, whatever. But I went out and ordered this, so very nice, very nice. We also got a task certificate. Yay, these are very hard to find. I didn't want the jumbo. I wanted preferably an M4 early, M4A1, M4A2, and an M4A3 because Asuka and Tasca make the best Sherman kits. This is my favorite tank of the war. Or well, second favorite, excuse me. Panzer III is my favorite. But snapped it up. It was a great price. So nonetheless. And we got this. Ba 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 ba. Very hard kit to find. Very nice. So yes. Open it up. It's the Norwegian campaign version one. This is the most detailed kit on the market. So yeah. And there's the hole. Beige plastic. Very nice. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, they have very nice weld beads on them. Uh, my understanding is the tracks may be short on a side. I don't know for sure. See, it's got workable tracks. So we'll have to take a take a gander at that. Hopefully that isn't an issue, but yeah. So, adding to the stash. Alright guys, well, I'll see you guys again soon. Oh, let's take a look at the Sherman. We got the, I used the Mr. Surfacer 1200 to fill the, oops, to fill the scratches and little minor gaps. And then I'm going to go over the top with it with the, to give it the shadow effect. Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black with the MLT, and as you can see, I have a boatload there saved up. Um, here's the, I got cast te texture on it. I started, but I ran out of black. Um, we'll go ahead and finish her up tonight. I got some stowage on the back, not much, just a little bit, but it does come, it's an old kit from 87, it did, uh, to me it did reissue it in 2002 with some uh, fixes on it but the thing is on the sponsons here you will need to add plastic card as you will see light through there so I didn't I'm gonna add a commander and a driver to it this is gonna be a Pacific Sherman um, let me put this back. got lots of dust in this house that's why I covered that um, let's put this bad boy away <laughs> And here is the wooden sign side armor that I got going on it. And then I'm on the turret, I'm going to have track. Uh, you can see it across the turret side there. Um, a lot of the pictures I've seen, it didn't have a 50 cal. It had a 30 cal um, Commander's MG. Uh, I don't have a 30 cal, so... I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it like that. Uh, let's put the tool set away. I'll have to add some tape to that. So, yeah, here's the wooden side armor. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the... Um, I did make my first time using the drill, make some tow cable. Um, the thing is, it didn't come with actual tow hooks. So, I got... A uh, ghetto style casting method here. It seems to be working pretty good. I got milliput fine, super fine in there. So I took um, the M3 Stewart's toe shackles and casted those in that green stuff. That's like a cheaper version. I got it from Amazon a while back, but yeah. Casting those bad boys, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, I'll be. Uh, Weathering that up before you know it. Um, these are the real colors that 
I'm going to be using. Um, I have a bunch of these coming else. Also, um, some German Dunkelgau. I'm going to be using Olive Drab Faded and Olive Drab. So, yeah, it's going to be really, really nice, the color on it. Um, well, I might, and actually, this is an army. It's a Pacific, so I might have to do a little bit more research and see what color they use. I would still think they would use all of drab because it would be coming from the factory. I don't know. All right, this is getting longer than I anticipated, so I will see you guys again soon. Bye now.